Alright, so, um, I don't know exactly what else to do with this tablet. I mean, I'm on the verge of returning it to, returning to Amazon and getting another one. But, um, I thought I'd make one more video and post it up and see what people said. I know I was going to put this on my secondary channel, but, um, there's one, other, but someone's, but there's a person that seems to understand what's going on, but, um, I'm going to post this to my first, to my main and see what other people say, but, um, so as you can tell, the LED is now blinking again. I have it charged all the way up to 83 now. At this rate, within two weeks, this thing won't. This thing probably won't charge up past 10%. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot into the BIOS of this thing. I'm actually going to show what the BIOS has. Luckily, this thing came with a USB dongle, so just plug in a keyboard for this, into this thing really freaking easy. I really hate this tape. I really hate the legs I built for my uh, for this uh, for this uh, custom camera stand I'm using for my iPhone. But I'll make do with what I got. I mean, it's homemade by me. I didn't have to pay a single cent for a $100 iPhone camera stand when I can make my own for like a few bucks. That's what I like about myself. I'm very resourceful. I don't like spending oodles on, oodles on, oodles on, my, on stuff I don't really need. Or stuff I can build myself. Like, for instance, the uh, camera, the, the little... Uh, stand the little uh, tripod I'm using for this video all right so here's the bios I'm gonna let, I'm just gonna sit on the on these little tabs for a little while so that people will take a look at them. I'm gonna actually disable this. This, the uh, LPSS power gate was disabled. I'm going to re disable it again. It did nothing. This was set to this. It did nothing. Well, actually, no. This is what it originally, this is what it originally, this is what it was originally set at. I set it to this. It didn't solve the problem. Just a little disable and see what happens. This right here. This is the one thing I really wanted to show was the was it was S5 power whatever it is. I'm going to say I disabled both of these things and it did nothing. And of course thermal configuration which I'm not going to touch. I'm going to leave thermal uh, thermal configuration the same. Charging board sensor is disabled. I think I'll actually enable that and see what happens. So 
instructions to I wonder if it has something to do with these. I mean, this right here could probably be causing the battery charging problem. But I'm not sure. I mean, I've had Windows 10 tablets before. But all the tablets I've had that, have, that are Windows 10 based or when, even Windows 8 based always charged up to 100%. So maybe this area, so may, like I said, so maybe this area right here might be causing the problems with this tablet not charging up. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F5 again, save, and I'm going to let the thing boot. I won't it download. I mean, like I said, every other tablet that I own charges up completely. This is the first, no, nah, this is the first tablet I've ever had that doesn't charge up all the way. And like I said, it just refuses to charge once the once this LED here starts uh, starts uh, blinking. And I don't know why this is. I mean, I could go in there and probably disable or bump the uh, bump the values of on that uh, thermal on that thermal part for the battery, but I don't want to risk uh, I don't want to risk this thing overheating or something like that when it comes to charging. But then again, I mean, doing that might fix the problem. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to someone that actually knows more about stuff like this.